Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can extract an item or its value or both from an array of collections. This is a very common use case wherein uh, you have a JSON uh, which comes in from a particular module and you want to either extract a certain item or its value. So this tutorial will show you how to do exactly that. And uh, we are going to use a pre-made template. So just head over to the template section and filter down by JSON. And this is the template we are going to use. So just click the template and uh, click on create new scenario from template and choose your organization to get started. So the first step here uh, is to define a, a, a data structure. So um, we are assuming that you'll have a JSON coming in from another module, but this is the sample uh, JSON that I have created here. Um, and it's basically an array of collections with a user ID, an email address, and a first name. Um, of course, you can click on add here and define your own data structure if you'd like to. Okay, so we hit continue and the next module is the parse JSON module. So here we need to select the same data structure and just map the output from the previous module here. And now we've got a router and the first route is to show you how to extract an item. So say you want to extract all the email addresses from the JSON. So you name the variable and we're using a set variable module for this. Uh, select one cycle and this is the formula you need to use. So we use the map function followed by um, the array uh, that we that we're looking for the item in followed by the raw name of the item. So if you click here uh, and this is very important, you need to hover over the attribute you want to basically extract um, and then you need to look at the raw name. So the raw name is email and not email address and that is what you need to type here, right? And you just hit continue and in this route we show how to extract a particular email address so building upon the previous function uh, the previous formula um, you need to you need to add a filter so here we are we are basically defining a filter in the form of the id so again we look for the raw name which is id and not user id and then we type in the particular user id whose email we want to extract okay further we need to use the get function to to get the first item that matches this um, filter usually there should be just one item but you could have a have a use case where you have more than one so um, that's it you click continue and to test this scenario you need to click on run once and there you go the scenario executed itself and now we can look at the output here and from the first module we've got all the email addresses um, from the JSON and here we've got a particular email address david at pinkfloyd.com so yeah um, this is a, a fairly common use case and uh, I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you uh, you can use the exact same setup in your existing scenarios once you learn how to how to kind of create it by replicating the template so thanks for watching thank you